Hey guys, I have a new video I want to show you guys how to install a new SSD and also to clean install Windows 10 on that laptop as well. So if you guys have any questions, certainly let me know and I will definitely get back to you. First thing you want to do as always is to turn your computer over and to find the screws. Each computer will look differently, but go ahead and just find the proper screw size so you don't strip the screws at all. It would be really important. On this one, I had to flip it over and uh, make sure you keep that screw. Don't lose it. Next thing you want to do is go ahead and find a flat or whatever you need and pop it open. On this Samsung, it was really easy to install. Um, and so I'll go ahead and just pop it open on this one. I didn't have to take the whole entire thing apart. And so once you open it up, you'll go ahead and see the compartment and you'll go ahead and see uh, on this specific module the uh, hard drive location and also the uh, RAM location. At this point, if you want to upgrade the RAM, you can go and just pop them out and then pop them in as well, but I'm not doing that at this time. Go, on, go ahead and just slide out that uh, hard drive. Once again, pop it out. Uh, it's really easy. In this specific one, it had also a bracket of sorts. It's a kind of rubber uh, attachment that you can go ahead and just slide the new one on. And so go ahead and take that one off. And once you do that, you can go ahead and add that onto the new uh, SSD that you will be installing. In this specific case, I grabbed a uh, SanDisk SSD Plus. It's a 240 gigabyte SSD uh, with the writes and read speeds up to 530 megabytes per second. Uh, that's what they advertise, but they are usually a little bit slower than that. But it works for me in this case, and so I picked it up for about $69 at uh, Best Buy. So go ahead and take care of the package. Take off what you need to take off and go ahead and put it back into that little rubber bracket. And then we will go ahead and reinstall it back into the computer. If you want to compare it, it's uh, about right around the same size and uh, it's right on the same thickness as well. And so everything for the most part should go back the way that it came in. And so these are the two drives, uh, the standard hard drive and then the new SSD that just picked up here. Go ahead and put that rubber bracket back on so it will fit snug and tight against the uh, previous location. Some computers will have this and some computers will not have this, so just depending on your make and model. But in this case, the Samsung one did, so go ahead and pop it back into the SATA drives. I also thought it would be a good idea to at least clean the drive, so get some compressed air. Once you get that done, go ahead and put it back into the attachment. Go ahead and make sure it's nice and tight and just go ahead and just place the SSD back into the original location. You might go ahead and try to make it fit accordingly and you should be good to go. Once you do that, you can go ahead and just grab the old plate and put it back on top, screw it up and uh, we'll be good to go. Now we're going to reinstall Windows 10. The first thing you want to do is make a Windows Media Install tool and that tutorial will be linked uh, or be described in the video description below. Go ahead and plug your computer in. Boot up for the first time. Depending on your own computer, you might have to enter into the BIOS and to configure it to boot off of the USB. But in my case, I had a uh, pretty lucky try. And so from this point here, you go ahead and just follow the basics, install. So from this point, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward it. It's very basic. Go ahead and just answer some of the questions. If you have a serial key, go ahead and install it now. But if you're installing just over the top of a previous version, you can go ahead and just skip it like how I do. Go ahead and choose your operating system. I went ahead and did home for mine. Accept the license. I did a custom install because I'm doing it as a clean install. And that the computer will be fresh. Go ahead and select your new drive. Click next and uh, let it take its course and it will go ahead and install what it needs to. And in a little bit here, you will see me just uh, skipping in ahead as we get this thing ready here.
And that's about it. That's a clean install of Windows 10 on the new computer with a brand new SSD.